a couple of things, right? Uh, a note on notation, which will be explained by a, a further definition, because I actually haven't given you a formal definition yet. I've just shown you pictures, okay? You will notice degrees have a symbol, the, the, the circle, right? Because rotation's about circles, okay? Uh, I have not written any symbols for radians, right? Which you would think is a good idea, because when you convert between units, for instance, if I said, you know, one meter is 100 centimeters, you kind of need units on both sides, right? Does that make sense? Because it's like, well, if you said one equals 100 centimeters, you'd say one what, right? You need the unit. There is a unit symbol for radians, okay? Uh, it looks like this. Uh, I know that looks like a C, but it's actually an incomplete circle. Like it's, it's a major arc in a circle, okay? Because that symbol looks so much like a degree symbol, right? When people are writing radians and they want to be unambiguous, honestly, they'll write this, okay? In the past when I have wanted to indicate I'm definitely talking about radians, not talking about degrees or anything else, I will always prefer this over this. I know, just think you're asking for it. Okay, yeah. But if you write your answer like as pi on two, isn't it infer that you're talking about radians? Okay, now, let me get to that. Um, you will notice, even though I have these two options, I have used neither of them, and that was very deliberate, and that's for two reasons. Okay, number one, it is implied, right? If you're talking about angles, right, and you haven't put a degree symbol on there. By the way, this is one of the reasons why, when you first learned trig, I hope, you know, uh, it was really a big deal that you said sine 30 degrees, and not just sine 30. Even if you say sine 30, it's really important you put the degrees on there, because that's indicating how you're measuring. Okay? If you saw sine, pi on 6, right? Clearly I'm putting angles into this thing and it is quite clearly like what else would that be? Like I'm not pi on 6 because pi is about 3.14, right? So pi on 6 would be about 0 0.53, 0 0.54, whatever it is, okay? Oh, 0 0.54 degrees, 52 degrees, 0 0.52 degrees. That's an interesting angle, not, okay? So clearly you are implying that you're talking about radians. But there's a more fundamental reason. Okay, there's a more fundamental reason. Radians are in fact, despite the way I've been saying it all this time to help you understand, radians are in fact not a unit. This is really weird. Um, they're what we call a dimensionless quantity. What? Uh, dimensionless quantity. And I will try and now explain for you in my formal definition for what radians are, why they are a dimensionless quantity, why they actually are not units at all. In fact, they're the opposite of units. So you need to draw yourself a new circle. For simplicity's sake, for simplicity's sake, what I did was I, um, I started with the unit circle. Yeah, the unit circle. And so the circumference of the unit circle is 2 pi. And halfway around the circumference of the unit circle is pi. And so on, okay? But, um, you know, It'd be a pretty lousy measure of angles if the only circles you could measure in are the unit circle, okay? Now, this is not a problem because every circle, because of the shape of the circle, every circle is similar, similar, to every other circle in existence. They're, they're all similar to each other, yes? They're just different in scale, but they all have the same, like, shape, basically, okay? So, therefore, if I extend this, if I do imagine a circle of arbitrary radius, not just radius, one, okay. How do I extend my definition of radians, or rather than extend, give a proper definition of radians? That works over here, okay. Now keep in mind, I still want a full revolution, a full revolution to be two pi radians, okay, two pi. But the circumference of this circle is not two pi. What is the circumference of this circle? Two pi r. It, it's two pi r, right? all the way around is 2 pi r. Okay. Now how can I get 2 pi out of, like there are only two features in a circle, really. There's the radius and there's the circumference. Okay. Well clearly, can you see that 2 pi, that's the angle that I'm interested in. Right? How does it connect, how is it related to the circumference that's been traced out and the radius, which is the size of the circle? Okay. Now, the answer is, the actual size of the angle, the 2 pi, it's the ratio, right? It's the ratio between the circumference that's been traced out and the size of the radius of the circle that I'm in, okay? 
Radians are the ratio between however long this arc is. In this case, it's the whole circle. That's why it's the circumference. Between the arc length and the radius of the circle I'm in. The reason why this is great is because it catches it catches the size of the circle built in, right? You can make your radius uh, one or a hundred or a quarter or anything you like. And this radius and this um, circumference will still be in the same ratio, right? Because that's what it means for shapes to be similar. Their lengths are in the same proportion, okay? Now, ratios don't have units, right? Like if, I, if I said three centimeters to five centimeters, right? This is how I'd write a ratio, okay? But really this is the fraction three centimeters on five centimeters, right? But it's a ratio. It's just three over five. He doesn't care if you're talking in centimeters or meters or kilometers or light years, right? The ratio is still the same number and it's just a number. There are no units attached to this ratio, okay? And being that radians are a ratio, just like this is a ratio, hence they are dimensionless, just a number. Okay? And that's why I'm not writing, even though I have them, I'm not going to write from now on a symbol to indicate radians. I'll, I'll say it, okay? I will read this out as pi radians equals 180 degrees, but I'm not going to write it because that's really what's going on. There's not really a unit happening here. It's the absence of a unit. Okay? Now, I've kind of been alluding to this, but hopefully I can show it to you on this diagram and make it really, really clear. Um, radians, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that this is connected to the word radius. Why is it connected to the word radius? Well, have a look. Have a look at um, what would happen if... This is 2 pi around. Okay, 2 pi around. What would happen... Like, what is... I know what two pi radians are, I know what pi radians are, etc. What's one radian? What is, like how big is one radian? Okay, now you will find out if you, um, if you go into here and you, you take this guy and you say, well, if I want to make one on the left hand side, I will divide by pi. That will get me one on the left hand side. So one radian will be 180 on pi degrees. Right? Now, if my memory serves, I think you'll find that's 57.2 or 3, 29, so 57.3 degrees. And you're like, what? You want to be, you want to be like all, um, you don't want to be random or arbitrary. You want to be something that's built into the mathematical nature. What is built into the mathematical nature of that? Answer nothing. The reason why it's nothing is because I've written it degrees, right? That's the problem. You come back over here, 57.3 degrees. I want you to try and estimate. If you were to draw an angle, like here's my two pi radians. If you were to estimate to draw an angle of um, pi one radian, which is 57.3 degrees, about where would it go? How big would it be? A little bit over half. 57.3. That's pretty big, sir. It is pretty big. That's nearly, exactly right. Nearly halfway between half and half. 57 point. Between 45 and 60, nearly halfway. Actually, a little bit over half. Halfway to what? No, it's... Oh, sorry. It's nearly 60 A bit degrees. more than 45 Think about it this way, right? Um, right angles, we have an intuitive sense of what a right angle looks like. Yes? 57.3 is like more than half of a right angle. Yes? More than half of a right angle. So I'm going to roughly estimate it about there. Okay? This is one radian. Okay? Now, when you look at this one radian, how does it connect all of these pieces together, right? Well, if radians are the ratio between the arc length and the radius, yes? And if the particular number of radians I'm interested in is one, what ratio is the number one? Like, this is the ratio three to five. What ratio is the number one? It's, um, it's one to one, is it not? One to one means my two quantities are the same size, right? What two quantities am I talking about again? The radius the radius arc length. I'm talking about the radius and the arc length. That guy there. Right? That's the arc length that's been traced out by one radian. Do you see it? Can you even see? I hope my diagram is good enough, right? Does that arc length not look exactly the same length as the radius? Right? To go one radian rot in rotation means to go one radius around the circumference. 
right? And how many radii can I go? Answer, oh, that's two pi. Right? That's how many I can do all the way around that's the circle. That's so awesome. Okay? Yeah. yeah, it sure is, right? Radians are so much a superior way to measure angles because they're baked into the way circles are, right? So, this is the key idea. What that implies is that one radian is the angle that traces or cuts out an arc equal to the radius of the circle. Okay? 57.3 degrees. That does sound random. The reason it sounds random is because degrees are random, right? Radians are awesome. If you go around one radian, you've gone one radius around the circumference. When were okay. they invented? Say that again. When were they invented? Like, figured out. Actually, I'm not sure. You should go find that out. I'm a bit in... after, probably after the grades. <laughs> you should go and look that up, actually. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if it, was if it wasn't necessarily before or after, because completely different groups of people want these, um, these different measurements. You see? These are different schemes, okay? Um, engineers, mathematicians, and I mean like mathematician mathematicians, um, because if you want to do calculus involving yeah. angles, you have to, you have to do this. Right? You must do this, as you will discover next year. Um, degrees, I don't know, like well, sailors, and therefore everyone else who inherited the angle system that they introduced to us. Okay.